Okay, I'm going to make a flex tube pattern here uh, using egret flexi film as well. I'm going to take a piece of transparent blue flex tube. You know, it's got a curve to it. It's because it comes on a roll. I burn a nice lip on the back end. Just a little lip, and we'll try and straighten it a bit. Now, flex film is always going to, or probably flex tubing is always going to have a little bit of a curve to it. I'm just trying to get it as straight as we can. And what we'll do is we'll just take a small piece of Scandinavian small liner tubing and give it a diagonal cut, syringe cut there. And we'll insert it. Okay, so you can see it's inserted into the tube now. Okay, and we're ready to go on to the mandrel, or pardon me, the uh, taper needle. Okay, so there we go. Now the product we're going to use today is the Egret Flexi Film. Um, but before that, we'll tie on once we get the straight note. Okay, and because we're going to go forward and back with this film, we're not going to tie it right onto the back. First thing we're going to do is just make sure this small diameter tubing is secure. Okay, so we'll just wrap that joint like we usually do. You know what? I'm just going to switch needles too. This needle is a bit too short. I uh, cut the point off so I didn't jab myself on other. Whoops! On other. Smaller pounds I was making. There we go. That one's better. It's just a bit longer, this one. A little more security on the end. You can see that tip comes right to there now. Perfect. Okay, so about the back half for sure, we're going to leave bare. The whole reason we're using transparent flex tube for this pattern is to kind of accentuate the look of the egret flexi film. Now, this flexi film. You can see this is the blue color. Uh, if you ever use laser wrap or edge bright, different products from different companies, this is similar except for one big difference. Um, with those, whoops, with those products, laser wrap and edge bright, there is no adhesive side to it. These, as you can see, I just made a little score with that exacto knife, and I scored a little strip. Now, this little strip has a sticky side and a normal side, unsticky. So what we'll do is we'll just put that aside for a second and we're just going to make a nice underbody here. All right, we're going to add uh, some pearl mylar tinsel. We're going to wind it back and then forward again. This just gives a little bit more of a glow, a little more reflectiveness with the transparent flex tube and then the egret flexi film on top. So we're going to go back, leaving that little gap at the back of the fly. Going forward, this doesn't have to be perfect, this is just an underbody, just to give that little shine. See, it just shines that tube up a little bit. Now we're going to get the, the egret flexi film. We're going to tie it in so the sticky side is up. So we're actually the sticky side is making contact with the tube. And if you overlap a little bit, that's fine. And now we're going to come back. And the best part about 
Oops, we did that a little bit too tight. Best part about this flexi film is it does flex so you can pull it and make it really tight. But the more times the more times you layer the color, the more intense it gets. So you can see from the first time I went over it got a little bit blue, second time a lot more blue. You could bulk it up and go over three or four times and really get an intense blue color. But I'm happy with just two layers. I think one of the best things about this is, well, I mean, you can see it on the video. I'll just zoom in a bit. You've got a really tight layer there. It's almost like it's glass over the top of the tube. It's completely stuck. And it's just a smooth, tight surface. Oh, a little too tight. But a nice looking, almost makes it look like glass, the tube. Okay. All right, I'm going to stick with the blue color and put uh, some gray hair on. It's been dyed silver doctor blue. We'll tie it in from the tip. Just pull down. And pull the tip back too. And we'll add some blue, Silver Doctor Blue Seals fur. And no dubbing loop, we want it loose. It's Heron's beautiful stuff, but man, when the barbs get in your way, it kind of gets, gets a goofy. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold today. I don't mean to sniff in the camera. <laughs> hey, there we go. Nice, nice loose dubbed body. And this beautiful gray hair and feather that's gonna go over many times. Whoops. And as you turn it, you just want to pick out and make sure you're not overlapping any any fibers. Just make sure they're all going to flow back when you're finished. This gray hair and feathers, the extra large size is nice. You can get a two or three wraps on it, the collar. Oops, I'm going to readjust my vise here. Okay, I'm going to go in with one more blue heron feather. Make a really very uh, buggy looking fly. So I'll go in with the tip again.
And you can see that heron just looks beautiful there. I've got this tip back here I'm going to get rid of. There we go. Alright, okay, we're going to put a nice color on this of uh, royal blue mallard. See, we've got quite a big feather here. You know, a lot of tires get freaked out too when they see uh, see it feathers all bent up, kind of goofy looking. But once you put it on and sweep it back, the natural flow of the feather kind of takes over. So we're going to go tip first again. Pull back. We just want a few turns of this just to kind of change the color of blue up. We had Silver Doctor Blue, and now we're going with more of a royal blue. You know what, I think I'm going to put one more mallard feather on that too. Sometimes I'll do this when, uh, when it's a bigger fly. With lots of fibers, I'll go with a thicker collar, just kind of really sweep everything back. I'm just going to backtrack there a bit. See, uh, I did uh, kind of a rookie mistake here. I I should have had more liner tube. I went too close to the edge, and now I have to be very careful of that so that the feathers don't end up over the edge, which, of course, would make the fly a total waste. So I'll just do two or three small wraps. And you know what, anybody who started on tubes just still has a rookie mistake now and again. But the biggest mistake is running out of room to tie on. That's not even tube, that's any fly. There we go. I still remember when I was a kid, 10, 11, 12 years old, and uh, always having huge, big heads near the, uh, near the eye of the hook. Always running out of room. Okay, so there's the collar. I'm gonna put a little bit of flash in this fly, just a touch, before we put the wing on. This is just blue uh, pearlescent flash blue. We're going to finish this fly with a wing, uh, kind of an unusual wing. It's going to be one feather. And this is, again, purple, or pardon me, gray pheasant that's been dyed purple. But you'll notice, here's a blue we were using. Kind of a skinnier, fibrous one. Sometimes you get these, I guess, uh, from the heron. They're from more of the under undercarriage of the heron, um, as opposed to the breast. And you get these ones that are really uh, kind of matted together. And they still work good for spay fat flies but they're a little bit thick so for this pattern decided to try one just as a wing and we like the look of it so we're going to cut the tip one single feather tied in really tight nice easy wing Okay, 
you know, it looks goofy when it's not wet, but when it's wet, it will uh, mat down and look perfect for the fish, I hope. Hey, we'll finish this off with some jungle cock. Again, wrap it really tight on that jungle cock. Okay, we'll just finish it off with a few, uh, with a couple of whip finishes. We'll trim the end. And just melt the end. Okay, and give it a good glue. There we go. That's the Silver Doctor Flexi Film Spay. Just want to make sure the uh, body of this Flexi Film is really shown. Uh, let's zoom in, in a little bit here. You can see not only do you have a wonderful spay fly, but underneath. That flexi film, especially over top of that uh, flex tube, really makes a nice looking body. Very attractive fish, I hope. <laughs>